In this video you will know everything about perspective in Photoshop for the manipulations, Photobash, digital and concept art. Hi guys, it's me again, CGStars. I'm starting a Photoshop composing tutorials and the first part will be about perspective. Let's finish entering and go straight to the video. One of the most common beginner's mistake is a complete perspective ignoring. On my critique streams almost every work has this problem. Even with a good blending, which will be in the next part, we can notice that something is wrong with this picture. Let's figure it out and start from term. Word perspective translates as a look through space. It was created with purpose of realistic description of changing in forms and visual properties of objects that we observe looking naturally. Despite the fact that we use flat layers, we describe a three-dimensional space. For space illustration and perspective, we will use Sukkot Perspective Grid. How to make it and what it consists of. In any picture or photo, there is a border between sky and earth. It can lie outside of the visible framework, but it always there, if events occur on the planet Earth. This line is called the horizon line. This type of perspective is called linear or one-pointed, it also can be called frontal. In this type of perspective, all transverse lines are parallel to the horizon, and longitudinal parallel lines will proceed with rays from the vanishing point. To sketch a perspective grid, it's enough to draw a line, determine it as a horizon line and put a point on it. From this point we build rays. For sketch, the easiest way is to use brush and draw it by hand holding shift button. But for speed and accuracy, I suggest another method. Let's take Figures tool, Polygon tool. In an instrument menu we click this gear, put a tick at the star and depth of rays for 99%. You can change color here and thickness of rays. The quantity of rays is limited to 100. Click on the horizon line and spread away and have we already have a perspective grid. For vertical and horizontal lines we do without problems with brush or using lights. Let's go back to our scene with sky and earth and ordinary three-dimensional objects here, cubes. They look blended in the environment, because they follow a perspective grid. It's easy to check extending cubes edge. They'll come together on a horizon line in a vanishing point. But we would like to know how to combine different objects, so let's another cube. It's easy to see that this cube is out of perspective. How to check and fix it? We need to draw vanishing line, so we could find a vanishing point. Then put it on the horizon line. And we immediately can see how our cube rises to the ground. Now it can be moved on the side without distorting the prospect. To change it in scale, you can use small trick. Go to transform mode using Ctrl T on a keyboard and shift this arrange point to the vanishing point. Then using shift or shift out on the previous versions, Cube will change scale in a perspective. Hit the like button if you didn't know about it. So it's the most simple and frequent example of a one-point perspective. Let's see examples of two and three-point perspective. The difference as you already guessed from the name is the fact that each object has two vanishing points as an example. According to this principle, any objects added to the scene will fit. Each of them can be taken as a simple form with parameters of length, width and height. And then the procedure as with a usual cube. A three-point perspective is characterized by the fact that one of the points is not on the horizon line, often its height object such as this part of the building. And the main question for which we have gathered here is what factors influence the blending of an object in perspective. First of all, it's the scale or easier object size. To explain this, let's take a man. His horizon line lays somewhere here. And even if he goes on distance, this line will always be in one place. But if you take a person on a chair, then his line won't cross his shoulders. Moreover, it should be correlated with another person to maintain a scale. Otherwise, your eye will suspect it's something wrong. It's easy to relate similar or size known objects. So, for example, here we can compare leg size. We also understand that a child is shorter than an adult man and put it compared to the height difference. 
The second one is the location of object relative to the horizon line. If object is over the horizon line, we will be able to see its lower plane. If it's below, then we'll see the upper plane. If it's symmetric to the horizon, we won't see those parts. Let's see where do we need to put this car so it visually would be standing on the ground. We are unable to see a plane of a roof, it means that it's above our level of view or lens, and this part of the car will definitely be above the horizon line. We also can mark lines such as sidelines of wheels and roof. They should strive to the point on the horizon. Determining vanishing point, we combine them with a the horizon line. And here we go, our jeep is standing on the ground. The third and very important thing is foreshortening or camera angle that would use in shot. And what if we add a car with another angle? Then complete the same procedure. We will see that those cars cannot fit on one picture. Attention, not any references are compatible with each other. That's why it's important to have in mind not only presence of a desired object, but also an angle in which it shot it, its location in a perspective, and it's also preferable that lighting would be similar. Then your colleges will be really realistic. If angle is not compatible, then scale won't fix it. The fourth, the last but not the least, is an aerial perspective. The principle is simple, error is not 100% transparent, so further objects are less clear, less contrasting and less saturated. It's easy to see taking three samples of color on the example with the landscape, and you can see how the sample goes upwards. Let's fix the combination process on the example from the beginning of video. Do you remember there was something obviously wrong? Let's blend this background with a suitable angle person. From this photo. For this, let's make three easy steps. Step number one. We should find the horizon line from the first photo, which is background in our case. It's not that easy to find it in this photo. We can see obvious line between sky and ground, but some geometry at the base of columns can be seen. We will use it to find a vanishing point and make a horizon line through it. Step number two. Let's find the horizon line for the photo number 2. It's much easier than in previous example. We can see that horizon line lies in this area. Step number 3. Connecting horizon lines of both photos. Doing that, we should especially think about the scale. Clipping our objects. Adding just a 1 minute blending. A completely realistic result of two photos composing. Use this and have fun. I hope it's already much cleared up for you and you understand how you can minimize your mistakes on reference search level. But knowledge is nothing without practice, that's why I propose to fulfill the following tasks. Task number 1. On your internet browser, it doesn't matter where you're gonna find your pictures we are practicing right now, copy any photo, paste it to the Photoshop and we should find A. A horizon line and B. Vanishing point or points. Repeat this procedure with 10 sources. Task number 2. Find a photo with man or woman. Define everything as in the first task, especially paying attention to the shooting view and where the horizon line crosses person. Then we are looking for different photo according to these parameters. Blend it with the first one. So we will begin to pay attention to the perspective and camera angle. Do it with at least 3 pictures. Task number 3. You can take a reference from the previous task. Take a person and copy it further and further from viewer. Use an aerial perspective, lowering clarity, saturation, contrast and approaching the color of the sky. You can do it on different layers or just painting over with a sky color. Task number 4. Create an empty canvas in which set a horizontal line and perspective grid and just draw something in it. Figures, cars, building persons, everything. Just take your time and practice. Do these exercises and notice how much your perception of perspective will change and arts will grow in quality. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if it was useful and interesting. The best gratitude is like and follow. It helps a lot for promoting my content. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, I think it will be useful for them too. And that's it for today, see you in the next tutorials, it was CG Stars, bye bye.